Welcome to the Aquaspresso Coffee Academy and today we're going to be reviewing the Jura XJ9. Today we're going to be reviewing the XJ9 and the XJ9 is one of the commercial machines in the Jura range which is probably one of the best looking commercial machines and kind of bits of the Jura XS9 and bits of the Jura Giga. But we'll start with the drink options. The XJ9 can make pretty much everything from your espresso to your coffee or Americano to your cappuccino, latte and hot water. The XJ9 can also make drink which is not shown here which is really your Estretto, kind of short espresso. So pretty much anything you want in coffee, obviously the XJ9 can make. So you have um, the rotary dial, which essentially allows you to navigate through all the different options and kind of gets rid of all those unsightly buttons that the older machines had. A nice feature, which is often something lacking in commercial coffee machines in general, is the water tank size. And that's something which can cause huge frustration in a, in a large office or in a big restaurant. Not the biggest water tank of all coffee machines, but still a hugely sizable one at four liters on the XJ9. Now, the other option is if you don't want to go the water tank route, if you do want to plumb the machine, you can. So you have your bean hopper, and bean hopper is, again, one of the biggest out of all automatic machines. It's a 500 gram bean hopper, about 50 to, to 60 cups between fills. Last, in terms of looking at the face of the machine, you have your TFT screen, which is great for first time users not really knowing what button denotes what. Having a screen which has your pictures of the, uh, of the drinks with uh, the names makes it really easy for first time users. You also obviously have your, your cappuccino and latte side of the machine and your central side where you can make two espressos or two coffees or two ristrettos, two coffees at a time, not two milk drinks, but two coffees at a time. Some things which are potentially not so great on the XJ9, you still have your milk side where your cappuccinos and lattes come out and your coffee side, which is really the central part of the machine, is separate. That pretty much poses no problems in an office environment where people are used to operating a machine. But for first time users where they come, and, uh, they come to the machine, they place their cup and they press cappuccino, it's, it's very difficult to kind of know where to put your cup. Do you put it in the center, uh, the center docking station or kind of do you put it under the left, under the cappuccino? So it's often a mistake people make at the beginning, they don't know where to put it and it kind of causes a little bit of embarrassment and you know, not really knowing what to do. Price wise on the machine, the XJ9 goes for 38,500 Rand expat. Quite a lot more expensive than the model below this, which is the XS9. But at the same time, it's about 40% less than the Jura Giga. Question, why would you potentially go for an XJ9 opposed to an XS9? Well, major reasons would be styling. This looks a lot better than an XS9. And probably ease of use, you have a screen which is, again, really great for first time users. Lastly, when would you go for a Jura Giga instead of an XJ9? Probably when your usage is huge. XJ9 is made for large commercial usage, but when you're getting to the 150, 200 cup usage a day, the XJ9 does reach its limitations, and then you might want to look at the, go up and look at the Giga range. Hope that helps. If you need any more info on the XJ9, or if you want to ask any questions, please pop us an email or put something in the comments below. Thanks so much.